So, uh, let's cut the crap and some metal. So, uh, we are going to get rid of... Oh, yeah, it's quite straight. Hmm. Cut. And then... not going to work, obviously. Uh, yeah, uh, so my intention here is to create uh, at least two surfaces here which are uh, level uh, and I try not to, uh, I try to put it in a way that I don't need to move it uh, while I'm doing those reference surfaces. So let's see how it does. I have a uh, uh, changed the inserts uh, to, uh, well, they are coated uh, sandweak inserts, uh, should be really tough because this has a mill scale on top of it and uh, this uh, might uh, impact uh, most of the inserts, it might uh, just blow them away. So, now I will mill it. Uh, let's see what this does. <laughs> So, uh, now I have uh, two surfaces here, this and that. Uh, I can trust them. So now what I will do, I will uh, turn the piece around and uh, uh, use some parallels under and uh, clean the other surface totally.
that I got rid of the rust and uh, mill scale. Uh, well, uh, next step I will change the inserts uh, to they are now normal carbide, maybe some coating on them. Now uh, that we have uh, the sides uh, in a good condition, uh, the next step will be to convert, configure this uh, to a horizontal mill. There is your 90. Yeah. There you are. Now it should be possible to mill the sides on top of uh, parallels.
precise in the, the dimensions, uh, they are not absolute dimensions. I mean relative dimensions, so that uh, the sides are parallel and uh, everything is parallel and uh, as uh, near as I could get it. So, what is this operation we are going to do next? It's the V-Crew. And uh, this milling machine is really accurate. The thing, yeah, yeah. Ha, let's cut the crap and just do the crew. I made it intentionally uh, one millimeter higher, from, so it uh, will be this way one millimeter. Uh, because I don't know the exact dimension of this uh, way uh, prism here. So, now at the moment this dial indicator is uh, right above the, the uh, prism. So now if I move it, uh, well, I can measure here in the back. Uh, uh, the, it is leaning on one of the edges here, and this edge is about uh, this much, but not about exactly this, this much away from the back side of the thing. So now, because it's a zero, now when we move there, 
You probably can see it is rising. Let's go there. About the correct distance. There you are. And uh, well, it's about 1.1 millimeter. So, yeah. Uh, what I now need to do is to mill from that end 1.1 millimeter away. Do a recess here. And I will do this incrementally so that I first take uh, 1 millimeter, then I try it out here and uh, see how it looks. And because uh, this can be then uh, put back to the milling machine exactly as it was there. I can uh, actually uh, do it down to one hundredths of a millimeter. This, so then I get it level, and when it's level, then it has a, a full surface touch there, and also the dark tail or the prism is uh, connecting uh, totally. Should be. So. Uh, this uh, concludes uh, this episode uh, of the sales stock. Uh, in the next episode we will be doing uh, first of all leveling that uh, tail stock and uh, also doing some uh, making it a little bit more Swiss cheese. So until then, bye!